Hi guys, welcome back and happy new year. Let's talk about software testing trends of year 2025. In year 2024, we have already witnessed the power of artificial intelligence and how it has baked inside software testing while we do application testing in much better fashion. Many companies are now starting to bake in generative AI power in software testing tools and technologies which can make software testing life more easier. And in year 2025, the bar has raised even further because with the power of a genetic agents are rising. Well, as it said, let's talk about the first software testing trend of 2025, which is going to be generative AI in manual testing. We have seen the power of generative AI has been used in many software testing tools, especially starting from the test management tools and bug tracking tools. We have seen the AI being fused in most of our common test management tools like Jira, Azure DevOps and Confluence pages where it is going to be grabbing the information which is required by the software testing tools and technologies. For instance, as you can see over here in the Jira, there is this plugin which can be used to go and fetch the details required for the user stories to write the test cases. I know test cases is something which is very, very intrinsic and it has to be written by the quality engineer. But at least over here, you can see that it is going to do some mundane task for you to create the stories or the test cases required for the story to be tested in the manual testing fashion, which can give you a bit more cushion as you as a software engineer, make your life more easier because now it is helping you generate the test cases and also adding that in the Jira directly. So these are the power of the artificial intelligence baked inside the test management tool. And there are going to be even more power of this generative AI, especially with the bug tracking tools, because now you can easily report the issue based on the different errors which has been cast not just on the application, but also in the pull request and also the code changes and also from the requirement traceability matter that you have got. So everything is going to be come up and these tools are going to bake in all the informations for you right away. That's going to be the first testing trends which I see is going to be revolutionizing in this whole entire year. And the next software testing trend is going to be using generative AI in automated testing. We have already seen the power of the generative AIs, which is going to be both uh, locally as well as an offline, you can run the large language model and then you can tap the potential of large language model in your automated test cases. Especially it can be like Playwright or even Selenium, it doesn't matter. You can tap the power of the generative AI and then you can use these power to perform testings like auto healing of the UI locator. So let's say you have a fragile UI locator which is going to be changing every single time, which can't be your application bug, then you can fix that much easily with the power of generative AI. And also you can do much easily the visual testing as well as the comparison of the screenshot or PDF testing, which was kind of pain before. Now those things can be easily done or tested with the power of generative AI because now generative AI large language model has got the vision capability. So it is very, very easy for you to do all these testing. Not only that, you can also query the changes of a UI application even before starting to test the application. That way you don't see the fragile test every time it runs after some time and it fails so that you will see that this is the issue because of the UI change. Those things can be easily done with the power of generative AI. So these are the uh, automated testing trends and I have also covered this entire detail in my course using generative AI in automation testing in my Udemy. So you can go and watch there. There are many exciting things that I've already covered in practical demonstration. And the next software testing trend is going to be rise of a genetic agents. Well, autonomous agent are often referred as the AI agent or the agentic agents or the software entities which are capable of performing tasks independently by perceiving their environment, making decision and executing action to achieve specific goals. So these agent can not only just perform the automation testing, but can also automate the test case generation and also test execution, defect detection and test maintenance. So if you are thinking about the test case generation, you can see that using this AI agent from the NVIDIA developers blog, they have given the way to use the agentic framework for automated test case creation. So the power of this 
agents are that you can use it for the test case creation uh, and also it will help you to understand how you can get the requirement extract the detail and then create the test based on the coverage and everything over here and test maintenance is a nightmare and in order for you to do it in more effective fashion, this rapid innovation company has talked about how you can use the AI agent in software testing to perform the test maintenance. So you can see that they have given how this AI agent can be used in the software testing field and also how you can fuse the information for the continuous learning and how you can use these information to perform the test maintenance in much better fashion. So basically these agents are going to be used for not only just creating the test cases, but also they know the context of how you can run the test every single time while there is a code change and also while there is any issue happens in the production or maybe in the test environment and then run the test based on those changes. So these are the power of the AI agents which are going to be more capable in upcoming days. That's going to be the third software testing trends of 825. And the fourth trend which I think is going to be shift left and shift right testing because shift left test emphasizes the testing to be done in an early stage of the software development but shift right is the approach is also trending because now we have to focus on how we can test the application after the application is deployed in production because it is going to be more crucial because all these days we have been testing the application and once the application is shipped we don't even care but now most of the applications are like SaaS so we have to ensure that the application always work as expected and also it gives a seamless customer experience all the time so this shift left and shift right testing approach is gaining momentum and it is going to be the trend of 825 which is always there even in 2024 and finally the last testing trend which i see is going to be the cloud native and ephemeral test environment i mean i know it is not something that qa need to be worried about it's going to be the sre thing but QA engineers now has to focus on how you can use the dynamic spinning of the test environment and how it can be used to run the test in ephemeral fashion. Because these are the environments we test engineers are going to be creating even within our code and running the test on the container or Kubernetes which are going to be running in the cloud platform. So it is going to be very crucial for the test engineer to learn the Docker, Terraform or Plumi or Kubernetes or Jenkins, of course, and GitHub Actions to understand how we can make use of all these tools for our learning, which can be used for our testing every single day as a daily driver. So these are going to be the top five testing trends for year 2025, which I see as one of the most setting stone all the time. And there is one more thing which is not part of the top five because I have talked about this many, many times in even last year trend, which is going to be the codeless and low code automation tool. We have seen the rise of codeless tool is just keep growing every single time. Many companies are starting to adapt the codeless testing tool, the tools like Test Complete, Test Rigor, and Catalon. All these companies are coming up with this fancy codeless testing tool. And this is going to be keep on rising because you just give the uh, plain English text and the power of the generative AI, it is going to generate the code for you. And also it's going to run the test for you behind the scene for the application that you are testing. That is going to be amazing because it is going to require no code or super less code from the engineers to test an application in much easier fashion. So these are going to be another software testing trends of K25 and this is going to keep on rising with the power of Genity AI, visual models and things. So these are the top five software testing trends or maybe plus one for year 2025. And I see the trend is keep on rising very fast pace it in this year because a lot of companies are already working on these uh, in pipeline and they're going to be releasing new features pretty soon. So please let me know your thoughts about what are the trends that I am missing in this particular year. Maybe we can create another video to talk about them. But I see these are the top five testing trends of year 25, which is going to keep on rising. Maybe in the mid of this year, we should be creating another software testing trend in the mid 2025. But I could see this could be the potential trends of year 25. Once again, Thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.